the ones you let me be Oh, can't you see I'm Yeah, I wrote Warm Blood when I was in uni. I was uh, living in a share house, it was like 2015, I think, um, on the Gold Coast. And I wrote it in this jam session that I had with my friend Shooter. Uh, and he's like a phenomenal drummer. So like the groove of that track kind of came from him being in the room and doing his thing at the time. And I took, you know, being cold hearted and tying that to someone that lacks a lot of empathy. And I kind of took it to the other end of you know, being warm-blooded and being someone that's, you know, warm-hearted. And, um, you know, the whole chorus is basically me just saying like, well, tell me if you're so lovely, why would you do this and this and this and this and this and this and this to me? The song kind of started with the womp, 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 like little bass sample. And then I had like the kick and the super kind of late snare and the hat and, um, they were the main sounds that started. Um, we kind of kept that from the get-go. And um, yeah, we kind of went from there and the song stayed very groove heavy. We didn't want to change it. So it always just had that kick and snare. And then like when the chorus hit, there was only like a few more cymbals and hats that were introduced. But other than that, like the song's probably the most basic form of production I've had so far. I have a tendency to over clutter my songs and I just get really uh, overzealous with my sounds and then the layers become way too intense and there's just too many things going on. So uh, with Warm Blooded I really had to keep uh, tapping myself on the back and being like, okay slow down, like, you don't need as much going on, like it's kick, snare, hats, like keep it at that.